Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about um, taking animals out of the wild, especially uh, sp more specifically turtles, taking turtles out of the wild, and I think this season is kind of when people start to do that because it's spring and you find them out basking and you find little tiny quarter-sized turtles. So um, I'm just going to be talking about my kind of viewpoint on that subject, and I'm going to be uh, working on my terrarium over there because I like to just kind of garden in it and I think um, that would be kind of less boring for you if I do that as as well as talk because normally in my videos I'm just doing something but in this one I will be uh, mainly just talking about a subject. Okay real quick uh, my plan is I'm going to add some wood add some plants from my filter and just move some stuff around in the terrarium so that's basically what I'll be doing. So, like I said, I had already filmed this video, but I just didn't, I felt like I was kind of a little bit too hyped up at the moment when I was filming it, and I, I, I didn't, I kind of wanted to be kind of mellow and just normally kind of have more of like a discussion um, with this type of video, because um, after watching this video, I kind of want you to go down to the comments and tell me your opinion, because... Um, I was kind of, so this this summer, uh, so let's start off, this summer I was in Arizona, and I was talking to somebody, and I kind of, there there was lizards in Arizona, there was tons of lizards, and there was these two that I had kept while I was there that we, we just kept in like the backyard in a tank, um, but I was kind of thinking of taking them, um, I don't even know how, uh, if I'd be allowed to do this, but to ship them back um, back here and keep them, and, uh, I was kind of talking to somebody about it, and they just didn't think it was a good idea at all, not because, I mean, it, it just generally isn't a good idea to do that, but also, um, just the idea of keeping, taking animals from the wild, so they kind of explained their view, and I really, that really convinced me that it, I, I, um, Uh, it's not a good idea, and kind of when I put my mind to something, I pretty much decide that's kind of how it is. I think that kind of is how I am. Um, so when I put my mind to this, that's basically how I've been, and I really just won't take any native animals out of the wild um, anymore because... I. So there's a few different reasons for this. So first of all... Um, they're fine in the wild. I mean, there's just that, that fact there is they don't, they, um, the wild is, or the animals are made for the wild. So that's where they're going to live out their lives the best. Um, and, uh, be able to interact with other animals and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not saying, but by saying that, I'm not saying like, yeah, some animals will not survive through the wild and make it to adulthood and live full lives and die of old age because that's just how the wild is. And other animals get to eat, and that's just kind of how it works. Um, but that the wild's where animals should be. And it, it's also... Um, Camp Cannon kind of did a video uh, that kind of said, like, that kind of talked about zoos and a reserve or something like that. And uh, I'm not talking about, I'm just talking about like taking an animal, like you, you find a turtle or you find a lizard or a snake outside or a frog or a toad and you just want to keep it. And I know that my thumbnail or the main thing of my channel is actually a frog that's from the wild. It's a northern green frog, but I think I'm going to be changing that. I want to do a design or maybe just a picture of me considering that my name is the thing of the channel. But, so, first point is that animals, uh, you know, the wild is where animals are supposed to be. Now, here I'm going to go more specifically into turtles. Now, what is what is kind of making me do this is I got three comments the same day on like two different videos saying basically I found a turtle outside and I'm going to keep it now. And I, I just thought I should probably talk about this. 
So I'm going to address a few things from those comments just because, um, I don't know. So first of all, it kind of talked about, uh, I mean, some, a few, like two of them asked, you know, could you help me try to figure out how to set these up? And that's really why I do animal info videos is so then you know how to set them up. Um, now I haven't done any on baby turtles because I don't keep baby turtles and in my opinion really nobody does unless you breed turtles and if think if I think and in my opinion if you breed turtles you should probably have a pretty good idea of how to keep turtles and you can just look it up really really easily but you can't really keep baby turtles because I know at least in Ohio I think the whole United States you can't buy them under four inches um because of you know the United States passed that law because they thought it would help prevent salmonella because little kids would put like turtles in their mouth, which is disgusting, but, um, or they would play with smaller turtles and they wouldn't play as much with like bigger over four inch turtles. So, um, that's the reasoning behind that law. But, so that's why I do videos that, you know, mainly encompass turtles over four inch, or yeah, mainly uh, are about like turtles over four inches. The reason that I kind of talked about that is when setting up a baby turtle, it's a little bit different than adults, but it's basically the same principles, just on a much smaller scale. But I do the videos, so then you can just do that. And what some people may not know is I actually have, uh, there is a, there's playlists on this channel because I, I went through and I did all the playlists again. So playlists, you go, um, so if you go to like my main channel, which uh, I don't go to very many people's main channels, I just go to my subscription list. But if you go to my main channel and you just go over uh, from like main stuff to uh, whatever the other thing is, maybe community tab or something, I don't know, maybe I only, ha only, ha only I have that. There's channel and there's like about and there's different stuff like that. And, or no, there's playlist and there's about and different stuff like that so under playlist you can go there and I actually have an aquatic turtle playlist where I have all my videos that I've um, done about aquatic turtles on there so you can learn anything you need to know from there and if you do have any specific comments then you can just uh, comment them and I will answer you I answer every single comment that has ever been commented and I did respond back to these three people so um, I haven't really gotten to <laughs> my whole reason here here's the reason I'm gonna stop for a second because this is the this is the main reason uh, mainly about turtles that I don't think there's any reason to take them out of the wild I have five turtles in my house right now and one turtle at the school I got every single one of them completely cost free besides driving okay I got them for free here's the reason why okay and I feel like the reason why people keep turtles from the wild is because they found them and they got them for free and that whole free idea is really big to people when in actuality no turtles are free because turtles take a lot to care for them um, not only expense wise but also time wise anyway um, I got them all for free because they needed a home somebody somebody didn't want them anymore and they just couldn't take care of them so they needed a home so I gave them a home um, so I've done that with five turtles so far and I plan on doing that with more turtles in the future uh, anybody who doesn't you know want theirs anymore or whatever I will do that I will take them in so that's the whole idea of this rescue so um, that's why so like let's connect these two things so turtles are completely fine in the wild they live out their lives they most likely will have a much much bigger area to roam than if you would take them um, and they would just have a uh, good life with lots of diverse food it, Basically, where they were made to be is the wild, okay? So once you take that turtle from the wild, and even if it's like a quarter size, it will get like over 10 inches. Well, 
not a painted turtle. Painted turtles get like eight inches. Red-eared sliders will get like over 10 inches. That is a really big turtle that is now gonna have to be cared for for the next 50 years in captivity when it could have been just fine in the wild for its whole life and had everything it needed with nobody having to take care of it. So in my mind, that's just creating another problem that potentially say once you get it, um, it does get big and then you can't take care of it anymore. You have to get rid of it and you can't just let it go because turtles have a very, you know, I, they're too sensitive and it'd be too acclimated to humans because they'd tame up really easily. So to get rid of it, you'd have to give it to a rescue, give it to somebody else. And um, that's just creating another problem in, in my opinion. When you could, like me, try to contact somebody who doesn't want one anymore, be, you know, get, be a little bit, um, you might have to be a little bit patient because they you might look and, um, I would recommend using something like Craigslist or, um, uh, I think I've heard of let go, but I don't know if that, if you can do animals on there. I, I've only really used Craigslist before. So, um something like something like Craigslist, maybe Facebook Marketplace, or if you just know somebody who doesn't want one anymore, which is very possible. A lot of people get turtles just because they know somebody who um, doesn't want it anymore, and they'll get it that way. And then you don't only have a turtle for free, and you might even get the setup with it. You also rescued a turtle, and that's really, really cool, and it's a really um, good feeling in my opinion to know that that turtle may not be in the best um, you know it may not be doing as well without you having to having uh, rescued it so end kind of conclusion don't take turtles out of the wild because they're perfectly fine in the wild and even though they're free they're actually going to need a really really big setup try to find people who don't, no longer want their turtles that have to be in the um, in captivity anyway and try to get a um, turtle that like I said already had to be in captivity and that you can rescue and um, can give a good life and that's pretty much it. Now, it's different with other species. Obviously, you can't go. It's mainly turtles that you can go, and you'll definitely, like, I'm, like, pretty much positive that pretty much anybody can find somebody who no longer wants a turtle um, just because turtles are that common, and uh, they're, they're a lot to take care of, like I said. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that kind of makes you understand it. Um, also in my opinion now um you might be thinking well jonah you just found two turtles in the wild and you took them out in a month i'm going to be letting them go i only took them out is because they'll be going in a school and that can be really really um cool for a kid that doesn't you know i'm around turtles tw literally pretty much 24 7 there's a turtle at my school that i put there and there's also obviously turtles in my room i'm always around animals pretty much at all times um so i i don't i i'm obviously i don't have any problem with uh that type of thing but a lot of people don't get to experience that and uh may not have a respect or interest in animals when they really could and seeing that at a school where you're already going to be can be really really cool and get you interested in turtles and the fact that I um, you know just a normal person could get people interested in turtles um, or not only turtles but reptiles in general and animals and how to take care of them and stuff like that is just a really really cool thought to me so that's why I'm doing that I'm gonna be letting them go in a month when um, you know school's out and uh, that's the only reason I took them out. They were two painted turtles that are about a quarter size, and I'll be letting them go. Also, we took out a tadpole so then the kids could see how the tadpole turns into a frog. Another really cool thing, and we'll be letting that go as well. Um, oh, look at this. This is so cool.
There's one of my big isopods. Right there, I'm gonna put it in the gecko's cage. Oh yeah, that's so cool. And they have this cool, oh no, I dropped it. Um, they have this really cool coloration as well, which I think is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next video. Okay guys, here are the two baby turtles. Um, to kind of show you and I will be doing a video about them and setting them up and a frog that um, last time you saw was a tadpole I'll also be putting that in the same it'll be like a polydorarium but much kind of less water than it was in it um, at the school I'll probably be filming that this weekend also so like I said the frog that is like my main channel picture is a northern green frog and i really if i'm going to change my channel picture i only want to do it once so i'm gonna have to make sure it's really good so it's either gonna be a picture of me with animals or it's gonna be a design that i come up with but i i haven't really decided yet then um any native fish that i'm keeping currently like i have a bullhead catfish i'm going to be letting go because i just don't see the point of keeping them when like i said they could be fine in the wild um, and I have fish that I could rescue, uh, um, anyway, so I'm going to be doing that, and then the ones that are at the school, I'll probably have my friend keep if he wants to keep them, if not, then I'll be letting them go, and then we'll catch more to put at the school, so then the kids can learn about native wildlife. I mean, catch more for next year, because I don't want to have to keep them over the summer if I don't have to, plus they'll get pretty big. Another thing is if you have a native turtle, then comment that down below just because I kind of want to see. And if you kind of have a, um, I guess, logical argument that you'd like to make, then I'm, I, uh, I kind of said in this video that I wasn't, but I kind of am open-minded. I'd like to learn and kind of hear what you guys think on this subject as well. I'm not going to just say this is how it is, you know, my opinion is over, like overrules all. I kind of want to hear what you guys think as well about the subject. Um, so finally, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.